This is lecture two of introduction to BioPython. And in this lecture, I'm going to talk about the seek class. To import the seek class, write down from bio.seek import seek. This will import seek object. Now we'll create an instance for the object. We name it my seek. This is a name of a variable. Is equal to seek, which is the seek object, open parentheses, and two quotation marks. Write down the sequence of your DNA. So whatever DNA sequence that you might have, you could write it down here. Then close the parentheses and press enter. Now the variable contains a sequence now. You can print it out. Write down print my seek, press enter. It will give you the sequence. To check the alphabet, write down my seek dot alphabet, press enter. It will just show you that it is sorted as alphabet. To create complementary DNA sequence of your own sequence, write down the name of the variable, which is my seek dot complement. So this is a function inside the seek object. Press enter, it will create the complementary sequence of that sequence that you've entered, which is stored in the variable. To create reverse complement, you can write down the name of your variable dot reverse underscore complement open close parentheses this function does not take any parameters so you just open and close parentheses and this is a built-in function in biopython like the complement one so press enter it will create the reverse complement so here we have the sequence and here we have the complement sequence and here we have the reverse complement of the original sequence so that was a brief introduction to the seek object in biopython